something? Sage, why are you in here? I'm busy making this for you. I've got some questions. Go on then. I was wondering exactly what my arm is. He said something about being created to fight devil golems? That arm of yours. It's a weapon created in ancient times. Yes, created to fight devil golems. Created to fight devil golems? How? Well, created to circumvent the problem of Devil Golem regeneration. So, built with the ability to absorb? Correct. Simply injuring a Devil Golem, no matter how severely, is not enough. But why is it attached to me? Well, in my opinion, I'd say that you were found compatible, and it was attached at an early age. But why? Who could hope to gain by doing such a thing? I have no idea who did it. But I can tell you one thing, whoever did it is quite a fool. Hmm. If I ever find that fool, I'm gonna deck him. Yeah, good luck with that. I think you should get some sleep anyway. Hey? Can't I stay here a little longer? You're in the way. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just... I feel so at home here. This is gonna take until morning to finish. Then I'll watch until morning. No, no, I'm, no telling I'm telling you to go, you to go get go some get sleep, 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 sleep. Whoa! No need to get angry again, okay? I'll go and sleep then. Man. You're not sleeping yet? My sorry apprentice. Master, what are you hiding? Seeing beneath the surface was always one of your few strengths. It's about Atsuma's arm, correct? Correct. I know a lot about that arm. I know so much because I'm the fool who attached it. I see. You could at least act surprised. I never expected it would come back to me like this, though. That boy was abandoned in front of the tower as a baby. By the time I realized he was there, sickness had almost claimed him. His parents probably thought I could save him. But I wonder now, if letting him perish might have been the kinder act. You used... Devil Golem cells? Correct. I had a sample here in the tower, still alive after all these hundreds of years. I thought maybe I could use them to save his life. But perhaps if he had died then, instead, he wouldn't be suffering now. Perhaps, but he is facing his destiny now, trying to make his and our future better, even if part of him is artificially made. He is trying to overcome the distress it brings him. 
So there is no question, he should not have been left to die. Don't look at your master with such condemnation. Yes, so maybe it was arrogant of me to turn against nature itself. To save him by transferring cells from the Devil Golem. Infinity. And now here I am thinking it would be better if he were dead. I hate myself. What did you say? That I'm an arrogant, wretched... No, not that. Infinity. I've never heard that name before. A name from the deepest, darkest history. But the numbers do not match up. Three cities, one Devil Golem in each. You are saying there was another Devil Golem? Where? No one knows now. The existence of Infinity has all but vanished from history. Whether he remains intact or not, no one knows. The weapon's finished. Here you go, boy. Thank you. If you find any other god orbs, bring them to me. I can make weapons for your companions, too. Well, that takes care of everything, I think. Can you get out of here now, please? I've activated the teleportation device to transfer you to Gravekeep Home. Use it, and be on your way. Thank you for everything, Master. Beyond the gates of the village, you'll find the Queen of Ice's castle. Off you go, then. Sage? What now? Thanks. Thanks for everything. My boy. Don't go getting yourself killed, okay? Okay. I'll be back to annoy you before you know it.
So this is Gravekeep home, is it? It's quiet, but in a sad kind of way. Yeah, it's cold too. I thought children didn't mind the cold that much. Hey, 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 maybe they don't. I'm not a child, so I wouldn't know. So what now? Why don't we gather information on the Queen of Ice's castle? Yeah, we need to find that handsome guy, too. Not my name for him, by the way. Come on, then. Let's gather some information. This gate. Impressive. Could the Queen of Ice's castle be behind this gate? Huh? I think she said. Could the Queen of Ice's castle be behind this gate? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Yuki, blow your nose. <laughs> there don't seem to be any exits. This must be the gate the sage mentioned. You're right, I'm sure. But how do you get it open, I wonder? folks from what are you doing here we came from the sage's tower we want to get through this gate through the gate you got a death wish or something there's a violent golem beyond the gate you know i wouldn't recommend it that's fine we need to get through well you'll need to talk to the village elder then she has the key to the gate which one is her house you can't miss it it's right in the center of the village okay thank you no problem Okay, let's go to the village elder's house. here? That's my grandmother. Can I help you? We want to go through the gate. Could you lend us the key, please? Excuse me? We want to go through the gate. Could you lend us the key, please? The key? The village elder has the key. So, where's the village elder? Yuki, blow your nose again. Uh, that's better. 
So, where's the village elder? She should be in the graveyard, I believe. The graveyard? Okay, thanks. No trouble. Then let's try the graveyard. Let's go! Oh. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Huh? To me? What is it? Well, could we talk alone, perhaps? Alone? With Atsuma? <sighs> well, we'll go on ahead then, shall we? Okay. Don't be too long, Atsuma, okay? They didn't look too happy about that. My apologies. No, 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 it's fine. So, so what did you want? I have a letter here. A letter? Yes. I was told by someone to give it to you alone. Wow. Good job spotting me then. Thank you. I knew right away I was told it would be the one who looked kind of stupid. Ah, right. Anyway, the letter says, Hmm, meet me tonight in front of the gate. Come alone, mystery man. I wonder what he's planning now. Is everything okay? Yeah, fine. Please don't tell the others anything about this, okay? Well, of course, but... Great. Thanks. See you. You should be able to clear your nose like this. You're right! Wow, that's great! What a child. Hey! Oh, Natsuma. There you are. Here I am. So, what did you want then? Mmm, nothing special. Oh, really? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not getting good vibes from you guys. Atsuma. What is it, Rygar? Uh, nah, it's nothing. Come on, we need to find the village elder. Yes, we do. But what about the magic core? Well, we can do that later. Let's find the village elder first, okay?
Injured, but I think my back is out. Really? We'll help you. Thank you. Of course, of course. Let's get back to your house then. Thank you for rescuing my grandmother. Oh, don't worry about it. We hardly broke a sweat. Thank you again so much. So tell me, what brings you to our village? Yes, about that. To destroy the Queen of Ice. Reckless indeed. Yet someone must do it. Rygar's right. Otherwise, we'll be under the thumb of this devil golem forever. It's true. As it stands, even our own tiny village is threatened. I think we can let them have the key, Grandmother. They did save your life. Indeed. Very well. I will lend you the key. However, it is too late tonight. Stay here, please. I'll give you the key in the morning, when you depart. Okay, thank you. But we don't have the magic core yet! Hmm. We can think about that later. Yeah, I'm with Rygar on this. You say so, Atsuma. Well, I've got something I need to do, so I'm just dashing out for a minute. Something to do? Yeah, you know. I do, do I? Well, okay. Fend for yourself for a while, then. Okay, I'm off to fend. In front of the gate. Okay. Thanks for the love letter. Are you prepared to kill Toya then? How many times must I say this? I'm going to defeat the Queen of Ice and save Toya. Why? If you do not cast one of these aspirations aside, you will fail at both. Do you know the story of the Ice Witch? Yes, it's a fairy tale from Yokohama City. I wrote an essay on that story once. Although the professor said it was more like a book report. Where are you going with this? Just hear me out. I'll refresh your memory first, okay? Long, long ago, there lived a fearsome ice witch. The ice witch took the prince of a certain country hostage. Using the prince, she demanded that the king hand his country over to her. The king was torn. The prince and the kingdom both were important to him, both irreplaceable. While the king agonized over his decision, the witch tormented the king's subjects. The captured prince saw his king and his country suffering and came to a decision. When the king fired a warning arrow at the witch, the prince leapt into its path. The arrow pierced him deeply, fatally, in the chest. The prince smiled at the king and spoke his last words. This is for the best, he said. Your suffering is my suffering. The people's pain is my pain. This arrow does not hurt at all. Then, the prince died. The king, though distraught over the loss of his son, went on to seal the witch away. It was not swords or weapons or knights that saved the country. It was the prince's love. The end. That's a great story. It is a great story. I know someone who would really like it, but I really, really hate it. What? Having to give up one of two important things? I could never do that. The prince and the king are both pathetic losers. I'm not going to give anything up, ever. You're such a kid. Grow up. There's nothing wrong with conviction. Give me the magic core. I'm going to save Toya. I've told you this already. Setting Toya free does not mean that you're saving him. I'm going to save Toya my way. I think we have to accept that you and me, we just don't get along. That's nothing new. What? Forget talk then. I understand the situation now. 
But I'm not giving in to you. Then we compete! No, this isn't a competition. It's a battle. Come on!
all better. believe in Toya. Even if it means going against the entire world, I'm going to save him. But you can't. You're talking about a devil golem here. Maybe I can't. Alone. But I have my friends with me. Friends? <laughs> you don't understand Toya's feelings at all, do you? What? And you do, I suppose? Toya is trying to fulfill his duty as a descendant of the Ancients. Duty? Yes. Toya believes that the descendants of Ancients have the obligation to improve life, to keep everyone happy, to protect the world. That includes protecting you. He is trying to get you to kill him. What? He's trying to make me kill him? Yes. To stop the Queen of Ice, you need only to destroy her magic core, Toya. And you, or that arm of yours, is the only thing that can do it. So... He's not being controlled at all? No. It has all been an act. Oh, Toya. You need to give some thought to what Toya wants. Stop being so selfish or I'll never forgive you. Are you going to dismiss Toya's sacrifice just like that? But if I use both the magic core and my arm, Toya doesn't have to die. You think simply defeating the Queen of Ice is enough? You have no idea what will happen if you use your arm. You have a duty too. A duty to kill Toya. You've come with your friends to fight. Good for you. Have you thought about Toya at all? Fighting alone all this time? Okay, just shut up. I'm not going to give up now. Look at you, selfish to the last. You want everything your way. But a promise is a promise. I'll give you the magic core. But I'm going to save Toya in my own way. Don't forget, it is what Toya wants. Farewell. Cool. I guess... I'd better get back to the others. Toya, my sweet pet. Just a little longer. Just a little longer, and the child with the right arm will be here. Once he arrives, all the destruction, the suffering, the regrets, the slate will be wiped clean. Whoosh! None of this ever happened. Don't you think that's wonderful? Queen, don't think for a minute that I'll let you have your way. Silence, Toya. Ah! Silence. Yes, my queen. You are nothing more than my puppet. Isn't that right? Yes, my queen. <laughs> Isn't this ironic, Toya? No matter how desperately you try, that stubborn child refuses to kill you. His arm remains pointed at me, not you. Oh, you silly boys. You dance for his amusement. That's all you do. Nothing but a clown. So, dance some more. Come on, dance. Where is Atsuma now? He's pretty brainless. Maybe he's making a snowman or something. Yuki. Somehow, I doubt that. You need to open your mind a little, Rygar. This is Atsuma we're talking about. Anything is possible. Yeah, anything. Ah. <sighs> hey, Atsuma, you're back. Yeah. You took care of your pressing business then? Pretty much. And? Just what did you have to do? I got the Magic Core. What? I got the Queen of Ice's Magic Core. You did? Asuma, you met with the handsome guy? Met with him, and beat him up, too. What? Hey, you'd better explain all this. Calm down, Yuki. Come on then, Atsuma, fill us in. That's everything. Wow, so Toya, he wants to die. Wants you to kill him? Yeah. Here you are, trying so hard to save him. That ingrate! <sighs> but I can understand Toya's thinking, too. We have a way to save him now, though. 
There's no need for him to die. That's right. We're talking about a devil golem here, and using its Soma's arm is risky. But still, for the person we're trying to save, to give up before we even try. What if Atsuma uses his arm on the Queen of Ice, and creates a further problem we're not equipped to handle? A further problem? Yes. The Sage told me a little about your arm. She said it was created by transferring the cells of a Devil Golem called Infinity. Infinity? The cells of a Devil Golem? That can't be a good idea. So what kind of problem could it create? I do not know, but the ascetic monk sends the same kind of risk, I'm sure. So, what do we do? We can't plan for something if we have no idea what it is. We don't have to plan for anything. Atsuma? Even if something bad does happen because of my arm, or even if it's going against Toya's wishes, I'm going to save him. Yuki. What? You remember what you said to me in London? If we just persevere, if we just keep moving forward, we can all become a little happier tomorrow than we are today. You said that, right? Yeah. Maybe what I'm trying to do is a mistake, but sitting around worrying about the result? I can't do that. So... Okay, Atsuma. I'm with you. Me too, me too! We've come this far. I'll see this to the end. Everyone, thank you. Atsuma, no need to look so emotional. Yes, tomorrow is the final battle! We need to see some bravery, okay? Yeah. Then, let's get some sleep. Come on! Bedtime! Bedtime! I can't settle down. I need to talk to someone. Okay, I'll go find Rygar. Hey, you can't sleep, Rhaegar? No, I'm a little on edge. I don't think I'll be able to sleep for a while yet. So there's an emotional side to you after all, huh? You consider me some kind of robot, don't you? No, of course not. You're like a, a dependable older brother. Huh, <laughs> older brother, huh? Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. No, don't worry. Okay. Atsuma. What? I once lost sight of what was truly important. For that reason, I failed to save Oka. I don't know what lies ahead, but you must never forget what is most important to you. Whatever happens. I know, Rygar. Once we settle this, you can focus on the person that's most important to you. Uh, who do you mean? Sayaka, of course. Ah, uh, well, I mean, we're not. Come on, no need to be embarrassed. Make sure you invite me to the wedding, okay? It's quite a lengthy process to... <laughs> Atsuma, <laughs> do not mock your elders. Okay, okay. But I envy you, actually. I'd like it if someone were waiting for me, too. Huh? Why the serious face? Atsuma, do you remember your childhood at all? My childhood? No, not really. I don't remember anything before I moved to Yokohama. I see. Atsuma. Once this is all over, pay another visit to the Sage. Huh? Yeah, well, I guess I should thank her. But why bring the Sage up now? 
Just promise me you will, okay? Okay, I promise. Okay then, I guess I'd better get some sleep. Time for bed then. I need to be ready for tomorrow. Atsuma, do you have a moment? Huh? Rygar, come in. What's up, you want something? Yes, actually. I'd like you to have this. You'd like me to have... what? This. Take it. Thank you! You sure about this? Yes. I want you to have it. This is proof of the bond between us, Atsuma. Proof of our bond? Yes. Atsuma. What? I want you to know that I think of you as a younger brother. A brother? I don't mean a replacement for Oka, but I have enjoyed watching you grow. Lady Corrine needs you. We both do. Well, <laughs> thank you. I've always wanted a brother. I'm very happy. And I'm happy to hear you say that. Well then, Atsuma, sleep well. Thanks again, Rygar. Good night. Proof of the bond between us, huh? Okay, I'm all fired up now. Toya, I'm coming to save you. Did you all sleep well? Yep, I'm at 100%. I'm pleased to hear it. I have here the promised item. Please, take it. The key to the gate. Thank you, Village Elder. I shall pray for your safe return. You've helped us so much. Right then, to the gate. <laughs> 